Hi, in this video, we're going to introduce you to the basic for loop in Java. So the exciting thing is that for loops in Java are the same as they are in Carol. So everything you learn in Carol is the same in Java. So let's take another look at that for loop. We say for int i equals zero, i is less than count, i plus plus, and then in between the brackets, we write the code we want to execute count number of times. But now we're going to break down that for loop. Instead of just changing the number three to be the number of times we want to repeat it, we'll look at what all the parts of that loop mean now that we know about variables and comparison operators. So first we say int i equals zero. Well, you know what that is? That's initializing the int i to zero. We can see that in the gray box. And then we say is i less than three? And zero is less than three. So then what we do is we go and execute the code in our loop. So we print line uh, zero. And the next thing we do is i plus plus. So we add one to i and have one. Then we ask, is i less than three? Well, one is less than three, so we go into our loop. And then we print out one. And then we do i plus plus. And then we ask, is i less than three? And it is still less than three. So then we go and print line i, which is two. And then we say i plus plus. So i is now three. And then we ask, is three less than three? And the answer there is false. So now we're done with our loop. And so this is why when we go from zero to less than three, we go three times. We do it for zero, for one, and for two. And so that's really the breakdown of what our for loops in Carol were doing. But let's go into our code editor and look at this loop. Okay, so here we have this same for loop program. And if I run it, we'll see it prints out zero, one, and two. And now if I change it from three to five, what that will do is go from zero to less than five, so zero to four. Similarly, if I change that to 10, it will go from zero to less than 10 which is zero to nine and repeats 10 times. So that's the breakdown of our basic for loop.